a commonly used setting in job properties, is image shift. This lets users shift the content separately on the front and back sides of a sheet. Sometimes this is required to correct engine misregistration if tray alignment isn't sufficient, to fix a problem where the design of the job had fundamental offset issues, or to manually shift content to adapt to finisher behavior, such as hole punch, binding, etc. In Fiery FS 600 Pro, we have added a visual way to apply this behavior. The job property's image shift control is unchanged and still applies image shift settings to a job when it is ripped. The new visual image shift setting is available in both Preview and Fiery Image Viewer and lets the operator apply image shift settings while previewing their behavior in real time. Let me show you what this looks like. When previewing this duplex raster file in Preview, you can see new visual controls in the right hand pane. Enabling offset allows editing, and like in job properties, I can choose to align the front and back images together while I apply offsets, or to shift the front and back surfaces of the sheet independently. Here I'll align the front and back surfaces together and set the offset unit to inches. To see how the front and back are related, I'll turn the overlay feature on. This will reduce the opacity of each side so I can see the other. Alternately, I can customize the colors of the images of the front versus the back in order to see the differences more clearly. I can change those colors as desired. Now as I set the horizontal value, you can see both the front and the back shift. If I wanted to shift them differently, I could disable the align front and back images and specify the shift value for the back side separately. As I shift the image with small increments, you can see it move. We can also see the expected non-imageable area as seen in the gray rectangle around the edge of the sheet. This predicts the area that the press will not allow content to be printed on. So when you are shifting the image too far, you can see when it will interact with the imageable area. That non-imageable area can be disabled as desired. While this behavior is standard for all Fiery FS600 servers, if your Fiery server has a license for Fiery Graphic Arts Pro or Colorite packages, you can use Fiery Image Viewer for a more precise preview. In this case I have an imposed document with cut marks. Not only can I zoom in farther, I can also enable rulers and the measure tool to show where the image is on the sheet. I can enable offset, set the units to inches, and enable overlay to see how the sides align. Because this came from Fiery Impose, the cut marks line up exactly. If this came from a different application that did not necessarily align the front and back of the sheets, I could adjust the offset here. Or in case the registration on the press was off by a couple of millimeters, I could compensate for the printing process to align the surface so they could be finished together. I could measure the output and enter the compensating numbers here and confirm the results visually on screen and with the rulers. The proof print option in the toolbar lets the operator print out a copy of the job to verify everything has been adjusted correctly. The visual tools offered in the preview application and especially image viewer let the operator preview and correct layout errors on screen with few or no proof prints required. This visual addition to the well-used fiery image shift feature gives confidence to the operator to fix and print jobs quickly and with confidence. Music